Hi guys, welcome back. So, uh, in this video, we're gonna continue from where we stopped last video, and we're gonna make a written example into a full hardware. Of course, it will be a simulation because and PNC is using industrial setting, and we do not have industrial equipment at home, but we can implement it if we want using Arduino. And this is the beauty of an OpenPLC, the OpenPLC software, and an Ar a simple Arduino board. So if we come here and look at this problem, it says two pumps are supplying water tank from a natural resource of water. And subsequently, the tank supplied a consumer with a random demand. Design an automation circuit to operate the two pumps as follows. If the level of the tank is below a certain level, E1, the pump should be in operation. If the level tank is between E1 and E2, one pump, so sorry, here should be both pumps, here's one pump, should be in operation. And if the level is greater than E2, none of the bomb should be in operation this is quite simple if you think about it so let's first of all implement this point a let's start with our ladder of course if any in any industrial setting we have two main components that they must exist now which is an emergency stop and an overload relay those two must exist in any industrial setting so we just add them for now then we start with our question. If the level is tank below a certain level, E1, both pump should be in operation. So if we assume that the <coughs> signal will not change as long as the water is below E1. So if the water is here, the signal will not change. We can say that as long as we do not have any change in our signal, the pump should be running. So if E1 is not giving us a signal, E2 is not giving us a signal, then the water is below E1, subsequently the two pumps should be working. So we can simply say E1 normally closed, E2 is normally closed, then we go for the pump. For now, let's trace it if the level is below E1. So the water is here and the E1 is not reading anything, so it will be no status change. So the current will work, as you know, it's moving from left to right. So it normally closed, so it's running. Stop emergency, it's running. Then we have here sensor 1. Sensor 1 is not reading anything, so there's no status change. The water the is still going. And same here for E2, subsequently the pump 1 is working, and of course we have to add pump 2. Okay, then we got this done. Then if the level of the tank is between level E1 and E2, the pump should be in operation. So let's say that we also have this E and the stop. As well, of course, we can just take it from here and go down. It's okay for now. So, E1 will have water, and we want to make this situation negative so we'll be knowing it normally open. So, if there's a state change, this will turn into a normal closed, and this one will be open. So, this will stop, and this will be running. Then, of course, we'll have E2 as normal close because it has no phase change yet. And let's say on one only will be working. Okay, so now we got our logic as B2, as B. Let's look at C. The level is greater than E2, none of the pump should be in operation. If this is established here, if the water is here and all of that is filled, E1 will be reading, E2 will be reading, so state is changed, both of them will be open, no current, so pump 1 plus pump 2 not working. And if you look here, this one will be closed, but this one will be open, so pump 1 
isn't working. So by this, we fulfill the full three requirements with a simple ladder. Now let's go and implement this on our OpenBLC software, then get it up and running on the hardware. So this is our the previous pro example. We're gonna start a new project. So first of all, we're gonna add an emergency stop. Emergency stop. It will be a boolean, and the location we go go we will go back to the reference. We'll find that we can simply go come here and copy this. And change this one to 100. Then, since we have four inputs, we can just simply do this. It will add it all. Then, we need our output. It will be pump one which will be that this is let's see, 100 then we add this album 2 so we can simply do our project Now, after doing that, we need to do a simulation. So, simulation it has no problems here to run, so there is no fatal problem in the, from the beginning. Press here, let's start. So, in the beginning, bomb one and bomb two are working, and let's say we reach level E1, so first true. Now, only bomb one is working. Now, let's say we got to E2 and yeah none of them is working so it works now we can simply download this and make the hardware connections so to download it we save it first on the computer and let's say water pump monitoring programs Choose a file, water pumps, misspell it, you have to, now we spell it correctly, so it's just re reading the variables everything, okay, so it read the program, now let's make our circuit and test it for the hardware. So this will be our circuit. We of course need Arduino. In my case, I'll be using Arduino Uno. And we will also need four push buttons. One for the emergency stop, one for the overload relay, one for the first sensor to simulate its reading for water, and another sensor. Then we will have two LEDs. We'll simulate the bump running, first pump or second bump. And of course, we need four resistance. They will be pull down resistance for the push buttons. In my case, I'll be using four 10 kilo ohms resistance. We're gonna go here to the Arduino <coughs> and see. As you see, my computer is disconnected from my Arduino. And we're gonna just see here what values should be where.
background and we should be up and running Let's stop our PLC Start it Hi guys, welcome back So, I finally got it to work Although the logic was correct and the simulation was working properly. The OpenBLC with the hardware is quite tricky. And apparently it does not like to have two instances of the same uh, actuator or same coil in this. Uh, and it's quite picky, to be honest. So this is what I do, did to get it up and running. So I just added some NOT gates and all to get it up and running and so an overload delay emergency stop e1 if the e1 is, is not pressed it will pass the electricity and there is a not gate so if it is not if it if there is electricity coming here there is no electricity here and if there is no here there is here then we come here we'll find uh, another sensor then it presses here and if this sensor is running it will give to B1 and B2 if not this will not be passing but this one will be passing electricity and we were waiting for E2 as well here and we got up and running I hope it makes sense and for the hardware demonstration the same connection as before I just move this just as a debugging system to see if the problem was in the connection it was not it was the, uh, the software so if we go here to the monitoring tab and see and press E1 so we only have pump 1 working if not pump 1 and pump 2 are working if E2 and E1 is pressed so we reach our level none is working and so on and so forth thank you very much for watching I hope you learned something and enjoyed it and see you next one peace